Good evening and thank you for joining us at 530. I'm Stephanie Hudson and I'm Regina Mobley. The woman who claims she was punched and beaten by a Norfolk police officer during a traffic stop was in court today. The officer says she hit him with a, do a door. That officer was found to be in violation of police procedure. Ebony Holmes says she was attacked back in July. Today she was in court face to face on charges of reckless driving and misdemeanor obstruction of justice. In Norfolk traffic court, the profanity-laced body cam video 10 on your side first brought you exclusively back in January was front and center. Motorist Ebony Holmes is on the right. Officer Vincent Taco is on the left. Judge Michael Rosenblum is presiding. Is there a reason why you're driving 100 miles an hour? Can you shut the car off for me? Hey, is there going to be a problem? Do I have to pull you out of this car? Who? You. I didn't say nothing. I'm talking to you. You told me to cut the car, cut the car. Yeah, I don't need the attitudes. I don't need you me. looking I'm around. Not, are you pulling people out for speeding? It's reckless driving when you're going 100 miles an hour. You're almost tripling. You know what? Step out of the vehicle. Hey. Get up. Late last year, Norfolk Police Chief Larry Boone ruled Officer Taco was in violation of department policy and appropriate action was taken. In Monday's hearing, attorney Amina Matheny Willard sought to have reckless driving and misdemeanor obstruction charges against Holmes dismissed on procedural grounds. But after seeing Officer Taco's back and forth with Holmes on video, and the at times tense back and forth with the defense attorney, Judge Rosenblum essentially called a timeout, saying more research is needed. These are the physical bruises Holmes says were caused by Officer Taco. Outside court, she described the psychological bruises. Big thing to where I'm on guard about me now. I'm paranoid. Anywhere I'm going, I'm just looking around people. I'm very paranoid. The case returns to court on April 25th. In the meantime, the defense attorney is asking the Commonwealth's attorney to intervene and dismiss the charges.